this next part, we're going to go ahead and clip up the uh, fetlocks. As you see right here, they have some growth on them. Um, we're not going to shave, like if, this was, if we were going to a show today, we would really shorten up this part of the uh, hair, but today we're not. It, it really honestly will not be seen in the video. Um, and then as you can see her winter hair up here, we're going to just kind of take the ends of that off a little bit, and uh, I will show you. Now, when you come up to clip a horse's legs, you always want to be touching them. Put your hip beside their shoulder so you're in contact with them. Run your hand first down their leg to make sure that they are okay with what you're doing. Next, come in with your clippers, run your hand down again, and go ahead and get the longer hair of the uh, fetlocks. Now, I switched to a little bit, um, I believe we've got 15 blades on here right now. Um, I was clipping the head up with 40 blades. Um, and I didn't want to use the 40 blades here because we were going to leave major, major trails in her, in her hair. Okay, now I'm just going to skim the clippers. As you can see some of this hair right here, I'm just going to briefly just skim it from the back of the knee down. Just kind of take some of that longer growth off. And then up here, as you can kind of see some of these longer hairs, they kind of look fuzzy. I'm just going to very carefully just come and kind of get the ends of them. Because I don't actually want to make contact with her skin because I will have huge clipper marks or blade marks, if you want to say, in the back of her legs, which might look a little fun. you will actually go around each leg and do the exact same thing. When clipping the horse's hind leg, please use extra caution. Um, as we all know, horses can kick, even the old broke ones. If you're unsure of your horse, have a handler holding your horse. It is a lot safer than actually tying one up. Um, first thing, looking at this, we're going to go ahead and uh, tie a knot in the horse's tail because we sure don't want to um, get the end of her tail. So I'm just going to tie a quick knot here so the tail is out of my way. And again, when you start in, rub your hand down their leg, make contact with your body on their body. That is very important because you can feel them react before they actually do something. You can feel it coming. That's why it's very important to stand sideways like this. For one, you're out of their kick area. And two, you're going to feel it coming before it happens. Okay, go ahead and run your hand along there. Now, like I said before, we're not clipping this horse up uh, super short because she do, does have to get turned back outside. Um, for example, if this was summer, I would go ahead and shave this entire white leg. Um, but for today, we're gonna go ahead and just take off the long hairs. Go ahead and rub your hand with the clippers in the hand. And then go ahead, if everything's okay, go ahead and start in on the hair. And never go faster than what the clippers can cut um, because, again, you'll start pulling their hair and that can lead to some issues of not liking being clipped back here as well. So always just, you know, just use a lot of common sense, really. Um, ideally, when you do clip horses, it is a lot easier sometimes not to clip them uh, in the sand like we are today, but for the video purposes, we are doing it this way. Um, but to actually go on a harder surface, um, it, it's just a little easier to have them standing up on a hard surface. Never stand directly behind your horse when you're doing this. Um, very, very dangerous and never get directly in front of the leg up here with your whole body and being underneath the horse. Um, 
a horse can come up and kick you that way as well. So always keep your body on the side of the horse and let your hands wrap around the horse's leg. And then go ahead, and when you get done with that, the uh, fetlock, go ahead and uh, see if anything else up here. We're, we're actually sitting pretty good up here, maybe just a little spot right here. That I'm just going to take the ends off of and just kind of run my clipper blades down just to get rid of any fuzzies.